So I've been watching quite a bit of the 8020 drummer lately and saw this video, which promptly made me want to work on my shuffles. And I thought it would be a perfect way to uh, improve my left hand as well. So I tried to do it on both sides. I did not get as far as this. But please enjoy watching my struggle anyway. Okay, the first pattern. Level two is just danga, 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 danga. So that was like half an hour, less than half an hour. I got through two shuffles. It is 7:30. So I did shuffles one and two. But the audio wasn't recording properly, so I'll, I'll do those again in the warm up and then move on. My left hand drop catch is different than my right hand one. So the drop catch is feeling better in my left hand. For the purposes of training my left hand, I'm trying to emphasize like, uh, especially if I'm, if I'm trying to get like a loud accent on the catch. Of course there's wrist and flop beat, whatever involved, but um, I think my, what my left hand is lacking is that sense of like being able to just like throw the whole stick out and ex look, it wants to hold on. Oh, this, maybe this is what I need to do. Like, like, if I just do like this, like my left hand, it wants to hold on. Oh. But maybe my left hand has just been like picking index or middle finger as a fulcrum and not really fully using this whole tripod idea. Hmm. I think I've got that down enough to play it in time. Ah. Hey, sounds good. All right, it is day two of shuffles. Oh, mother, now it's recording. I think my right hand version of the shuffle is actually pretty good, like 70%, because the rim shots are still not 100% consistent. And the bass drum, I, uh, I'm working on my feet. The left hand version is just unstable. This room's getting better. My push-pull muscles are getting fatigued. Yeah, for number four, we'll just say that 
like 70% is good enough. My left hand lacks stamina. Right hand is pretty good. Left hand is pretty good for the first like 10 seconds. Bass drum is getting better, but it's not consistently high enough in the mix. It's a bit too quiet for my taste. So we're just going straight to number five. The only difference between 4 and 5 is that the bass drum has a more complex pattern. That felt pretty good. Uh, time for a quick intermission. That was a longer break than I wanted. Um, but we can continue. My left hand is ever closer to the verge of getting a blister. Like, do I just stop? But I do want to get better. Pretty good progress on shuffle number five. If I can get five and six, like, pretty down with in both hands, I'll be happy. I don't need to go to seven, eight, the triplet kick is gonna kill me in six, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna warm up and then go through the first few levels and then keep progressing. identified the endurance issue with my left hand. The muscle that goes catch. It gets tired faster. And there's also a lot of variations where your hand is turned over like differing amounts. And each of those seem to use slightly different muscles. So even if my right hand does get tired, there's, there's like backup options. But my left hand is just not really as good at doing that. I need to be thinking about my left hand's drop catch for it to be relaxed right now. Like, I need to divert some brain power to it. I like this, this alternating thing. Now, we're gonna try the, the level six. three notes on the kick drum is hard. For triple notes, what I'm trying is tap, tap, down. Okay, so the second note of the three notes is not coming out. My fast twitch is not fast enough. Okay, I need a break. I had some food. So 
what I'm trying right now is just playing the first and last note of the three notes um, to get my leg used to that motion of how long it's going to be up and how long it's going to be down. I think it's helping. This is a lot more bass drum than I expected to be practicing. Okay, that's enough drums for one day. This is day four. I'm just gonna do some warm up and then uh, get right back into that shuffle groove. slow but it's working which means progress which means good it's actually working yes yes not super consistent but yes I'm switching hands, the, the triplet bass drum on beat 2 wants to go woof. Eighty-five percent success rate at doing it. And then like half the time, it's really good. Oh. So like 40%. We'll come back to that for the real thing. If I don't lift my foot up as much and keep it close and touching the pedal, I don't have to move as much, so playing faster is not that hard. My legs are tired. Left hand drop catch though. Needs work as always. That, that shin muscle that's trying to twitch real fast is dead tired right now. Welcome back. I have not played drums in a week. I'm just gonna <laughs> do a refresher of everything again. That light is fixed. Let's practice. For that one that's still too fast. No, the three notes, they still want to rush. Ah! And they want to rush, but I can't even play them that fast. My shin muscle is so damn tired, so I'm going to practice something else. Okay, so what did I learn today? Right foot is still hard. Spent the last minutes, last 20 minutes just like 
messing around. But that's good, because drums are supposed to be fun. My left hand is still not doing push-pull the same as my right hand. I think it's farther out on my fingertips, and in my right hand, the stick is... The stick is closer to my palm. All righty, all Rudy. Welcome to group. I am still doing shuffles, but what I'm really working on is being able to play three notes with my right foot so I can be done with this damn video project. It either just doesn't come out or the rhythm is like, bah. Um, I'm just gonna loop the first bar. gonna work. I think I can go a little bit faster. Okay, pretty good. Okay, still a little bit too fast. For the record, this is like, that's, that was like quarter note equals 140, so let's, let's go down like 10. I still can't get the three notes consistent enough, so let's try something a bit slower. Ah, that's the secret. Okay, so I have to first do the bar where it's just with the three notes on the kick. Then it'll feel a lot better when I do the second bar, which is like way easier. right leg actually. But when it tenses up, it's really hard to play three notes quickly. We're learning. Now my foot's getting tired. It's working. I got a blister, but it's just the, the, the grip on the stick. Come on, just a little more. So like, I'll be playing the two bar pattern, and then my right foot stop being able to play three notes. What I found just now that kind of works to get it back on track is to just do the first bar with the three notes for a while. Not mastered by any notes, but I think that's where we'll start tomorrow. All right, it is day seven. We're gonna wrap up this project today. So I'm gonna spend some time working on the foot. I'm gonna start from the beginning again and just just play through them all and see see where I'm at. So we'll see if we can get that at some point. Um, but right now we're just gonna we're just gonna basically do the the ones that are easier than this. I need to get a run of those today anyways to to uh to prove that I can I have learned something. Second, second step. Now we add the ghost notes. Now 
how we make it a two bar pattern. notes at this tempo though. Oh. Okay, yeah, I'm taking a break. That's all the minus the one. With three notes in the kick, I might try it again later. Um, if I do, you'll see that. And if I don't, well, because it didn't work out.